<laughs> uh, we have so much fun here. Good to have you back with us on the cafe. Now, Mel was lucky enough to catch up with the inspirational Sophie Pascoe as she gears up for the Paralympic Games. And Rio, she's pretty amazing, Mel. I love I, her. Yeah, she yeah. really, really is. Um, with six gold and four silver medals from the last two Paralympic Games in Beijing and London, she set her sights on gold for her third Paralympics. And after talking with her, I'm pretty confident that she has got this. See why. Lovely to chat with you, Sophie. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. And you just finished a workout and then straight here to this. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be my day at the moment. <laughs> so you're going to Rio on a level of excitement. Where are you at? I'm pretty excited, yeah. It's about perfecting those next few days um, to make sure that in come race day, we've done as much as we can yeah. to be able to achieve our goal. Exactly, because there's a lot of the physical side of it, actually doing the training, making sure that you're strong and your muscles are balanced and everything's working. So I guess there's a lot of technology and cameras looking at what you're doing all the time in the water as well? Yes, so we have uh, a really good support team and one of them is a biomechanist who obviously comes along to our pool sessions, they film them and we pick up every, every little stroke that we need to fix up on. And uh, it's really amazing what technology can do and as soon as I see a mistake in my stroke then I'll go straight back in and I can fix it. Just yeah. like that, yeah. Because in swimming, it's like every point of a second counts, isn't it? Uh, that's what comes down to race day, you know. That could be the 0 0.01 of a second you could win a gold by. Yeah. Let's watch the clock. 104.43, another new world record by a half a second. Sophie Pascoe. Now you, um, I mean, you spend most of your time either in sports gear, I guess, or trackies or in your togs in the pool, but you've got a real interest in fashion. You've been studying fashion. Uh, yes, unfortunately I only did one year of studying fashion, which uh, I sort of picked up that it is really hard to balance my studies with swimming. I'm not too sure where I want to sort of take fashion, but I know that I've got a real passion for it, so uh, whether that takes off in life after swimming, I'm not too sure. but. Yeah, it's really exciting. I'm surprised you had time even to do one year with all your swimming <laughs> commitments. It was very, uh, yeah, it was very challenging in itself. Um, I just wanted to get through the year, and uh, this particular year I wanted to just completely solely focus on uh, Rio. Yeah, well, that's probably wise. Now, you, you lost your leg when you were just two years old in an accident with your father in a ride on mower. Um, family's obviously very important to you, and they never treated you like you were disabled at all. They just made you suck it up, essentially. Yeah, yeah, that's the exact right way of saying it. Uh, yeah, I couldn't thank my parents enough, really. I mean, they always brought me up like my elder sister, so I always challenged myself against my other peers at school, and I always wanted to be the same. And um, It's such a great attitude. Yeah, really and I think that's where why I, why I swim. I, I, well, I know it is, you know, that's why... I, I enjoy swimming because you're challenging yourself and, and then you're challenging yourself against the rest of the world, which is possible. Pasco, the crowd getting behind Davies. It's going to be Pasco, Scott and Davies and then follows Rabat. A gold medal to New Zealand, Sophie Pasco. Well, let's do a little quick thing we've got here. These are some quick okay. fire questions, oh, okay? No, I'm not good at these. It's all right. Really quick fire. These are easy. These are easy <laughs> ones. Um, we're going to call it the, because we're the cafe, the... We haven't quite worked out the name. The espresso or the espresso. We're kind of oh, working okay. on We're working on that one, but okay. You ready? Yep. Coffee or tea? Coffee. How do you have it? Latte? Benedict. Just whatever someone orders for me, <laughs> usually. <laughs> I barely <laughs> drink it, but yeah. Eggs Benedict or muesli here at a cafe? Eggs Benedict. Justin Bieber or Justin Timberlake? Oh, both. Do you sing in the shower? Yes. What's your power jam then? Grease. Who was the last person you met that you were absolutely starstruck by? I was in a pretty cool room the other day. We were in a room with uh, Richie, Willie Apiata and John Kerwin. So, I mean, oh, yeah. it's that's a pretty a, starstruck that's room. A, that's a pretty cool yeah. room. It is a pretty cool room. And it must be fun hanging out with all those people. Yeah, well, everyone's got a good story to tell. That's what I like. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, it's Sophie. It's been lovely talking with you. Thank Best you. Best of luck. Really looking forward to seeing you on that podium at the Paralympics. Thanks very much. I tell you what, she is incredible. The more you get to know her, the more you realise she could have done anything in her life and she would have excelled. Eh? Oh, yeah, she'll, yeah. she'll be on top of that podium in Rio, no doubt about it.